Hey yo, it's me, Zeke410. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with a brand new episode of To Pull or Not To Pull, New Gen Faction Loot. And I have to say, people, Scopely and Champions have outdone themselves once again. Now, before I get into the video, I want to mention this. First and foremost, there are also coins, TP, and tokens all featured in this banner, and that is all essential to your roster because we have other events possibly coming up in the future for uh, enhancement, TP and coins. So that's that's a good look. But they have really outdone themselves on this banner. And because the new gen superstars are in here, I really get a strong feeling that there may possibly be in the upcoming the weekend feuds a attitude era faction loot as well as a legends faction loot. So be on the lookout. Now let's get to it. First and foremost, you have an opportunity at three three-star golds in this uh in this pack right here. First, you have Honky Talk Man Legend Trickster, who is one of the Dynamic Nine, which would be very clutch, especially if you want to get that Dynamic Nine badge by acquiring Vince and Honky Talk Man, who are also featured in the Crowbar pools. Then you have the God Tier OP Powerhouse in the Legend Lex Luger American Original, and a God Tier Technician with the most, most damaging finisher in the game, said to be in the Perfect One, Mr. Perfect New Gen. Followed by that, it gets even better. You have an opportunity at all six MP trainers. Black for uh, black MP is Bray. Yellow for uh, yellow is Enzo. Green is Steel. Blue is Lawler. Red is Sting, and purple is Woods. You also have another opportunity at some very good, solid new gen characters. You have the Farmer and IRS Trickster. You have Brett, uh, Brett Technician, who's also the secondary Botch Gem trainer. Then you also have. Um, Vader, God Tier Powerhouse, Doink the Clown, also OP Technician, Showboat uh, um, Unit, who's very solid, and HBK, who plays similar to John Cena and um, ABA Undertaker. Diesel's in here, as well as Bam Bam. There are a lot of solid units. Now, to get these superstars, because it's a coin event, you're going to go to your store, but this is the banner. It's going to have Mr. Perfect featured on it, and it's going to be very solid. It has the Dynamic 9 logo on there, so you know where to go, and you obviously it shows right there. You need 400 coins to do a pull. Now, the pull to go like this. This is where, where you go in the store. There's the Radical Faction Loot Pack. Now, you can get five of these, and I'm sure that they refresh, and basically, it gives you a bonus content of 100K in coins. It's basically costing you seven bucks plus tax, depending on where you're at. You get the 400 for a single pull in the new gen faction loot, as well as 15 new gen faction loot coins, which I'm about to explain. Then you have the, the ultimate faction loot pack, which gives you 1600 new gen faction loot coins, which is basically four pulls, and you get 10 of the new gen faction loot tokens. And the bonus content is 250k coins and a mystery bag of 25 TP. Now, when you get these coins and everything, it basically is going to go towards an event, which is going to basically give you more new gen faction loot coins so you can do pulls but when you reach certain milestones you're going to be offered a single gold coin when you get to the milestone of 13k that gives you the second gold coin you can go into the store and you can go down and basically go to these bags that offer these new gen um, superstars but you have a very high chance of pulling a three star variant of the, a new gen character so for all factions out there even if you're not a whale do what you can to at least get to 13k so you can get the two gold coins so you can at least have a chance of getting a three star a uh, three star champion out of there to help you out with the fuse as well as the events so that's basically what, what this video is now to pull or not to pull I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I would say to pull on this because you, you're you not really losing regardless of what you get. Sure, you're going to have to buy a couple packs of the, you know, like the, the $7 or, you know, get the ultimate pack. But inevitably, you have a very good chance of getting a fuse up for one of these champions that you already have. You have a good chance of pulling an MP trainer that you don't have or getting a fuse up for them. And... Most importantly, there's three three-star golds in here. Sure, the, the drop rates might be very low, and we still need those drop rates, Scopely. Please, please work on that so champions, players know what's going on when they're going for a pull. But inevitably, this is a very solid banner. And plus, with the TP, the tokens, and the coins, it's nothing but a bonus. And you know what? It's going towards your faction. And you know what? It's just, it's, it's literally looking like a very strong banner. So why wouldn't you go for it? Now, I understand if you don't got the disposable income or whatnot, but be optimistic. Once again, SummerSlam's right around the corner. Player's choice might be back. And 
like I said, there may be a chance for our legends and an attitude error of faction loot pull in the future. But inevitably, if you can do it, I say do it. So to pull or not to pull new gen faction loot, I say to pull on this banner. You are not missing out. It is a great opportunity to get a lot of good and solid champions and improve your roster or get some real good dupe TP or a fuse up. So that's the video. I hope you liked it. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to subscribe and make sure to, uh, to also smash that bell for uh, notifications on future WWE champions content. And I'm yours truly WWE champion zone, the bad guy, crowned era, family first, royalty always, Zeke 410, mad love, stay tuned, peace.